We started the store in 1999, so this is our 23rd year. In the springtime, get very busy with the striped bass run that comes up the river and the waterfowl that comes in in the winter. I often do things the hard way. When COVID first broke the news, I didn't think much of it. I just felt like my immune system could withstand anything that would come my way, and the COVID was just something similar to the flu. I was most shocked when my wife, you know, administered the home test on me, and it, it showed that I was positive. I don't think I came out of shock until I was back home 55 days later. When he came to see me in the hospital, he was uh, very sick. He had taken a trip to Texas a few days prior, fell ill, initially went to another hospital and was placed on oxygen and sent home. But despite being sent home on oxygen, his condition worsened. So he decided to come to Sutter Davis for further evaluation. It was a roller coaster because some days he would be doing good. It's like, great, 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 you know? And then all of a sudden in the middle of the night, he took a dip for the worst. And then the phone would ring and I just felt this anxiety. We printed out all the pictures and uh, just kind of cut them all out and pasted them on the board and brought it to him in the hospital. I told him to push through it. Just make sure to stay positive. I believe it was September 28th and I get a call from Sutter Davis stating that you need to come down now and I think you should bring your son. The doctor just spent a good 45 minutes, probably an hour just being there, being supportive, just explaining, you know, our choices. I felt that he was not gonna make it that night. We decided to transfer him to Sutter Sacramento for a higher level of care. The hospitalist here at Sutter Davis was able to communicate with different providers at Sutter Medical Center Sacramento in order to provide a seamless transfer of care. Within two days, they had the whole, you know, scenario figured out and confident that uh, they were gonna get me on the right track. They were able to perform the surgery in his room. I was just hoping and praying that he was going to be released and he was going to get through this. When he was stabilized, they deemed him ready to start his rehabilitation at the Sutter Rehab Institute in Roseville. Rehabilitation went well. It was gradual. My, my lungs were, were slow to catch up, but once they did, uh, I was off to the races. When he was able to be transferred to Sutter Rehabilitation Institute, it was a beautiful day. They pushed him, and that's what he needed. The coordination between the facilities and then between all the teams of doctors and nurses was impeccable. Patrick Kittle is back to his normal life. He's working at his store, going fishing with his son, going on walks with his wife. I really think it's because of the care he received through Sutter's integrated network uh, that he's here today and resuming the activities that he loves. I feel very blessed. It was 55 days and it seemed like a lot longer. For the time that I was in there, from start to all, all the way through the rehabilitation, I'd say I had an excellent experience. They saved my life.